hey everyone and welcome to the fourth video of this playlist in which i will teach you 30 css properties in 30 days so in this video i will show you the font property and how to use it okay so before starting this video hit the like button and if you are new subscribe to techie web dev and press all notifications so you will never miss any future videos now let's continue with our topic let's begin with the video and first of all in our website i have a simple p tag which says tutorial all right so i want to change its font okay in font we have many different properties many different sub properties so we will explore them all okay so let's begin so first of all i have to target the p tag and then let's write font size okay so as the name suggests it will change the size of the font so you will get some inbuilt size changes you can see here large larger small and xx large xx small okay so uh, let me just do this and now you can see clearly you can see the changes okay oops okay and now if i will just click xx large and i will just save it so as you can see here our font gets bigger okay so same goes for smaller so i will if i will just write x small as you can see here you can barely even see this okay it is very small and uh, you don't have to like write xx small or large or larger you can just write in pixels okay so if i will just do 20 pixel as you can see here the size changes and let's say 50 pixel as you can see here it does the work for you to change your font size okay so you can give it any size you want okay so like let's say 100 and four like one and five pixel so as you can see here it is way bigger and what happen if i will just give it a thousand pixel font size so as you can see here it is too big to even read okay all right so you get the point you can change the size with font size property okay then comes another property in font which is font weight okay, so this font weight property will change the thickness or you can say will change the boldness of your sentence or any word okay so if i will just click here and you can see all these values so if i will just write 900 here and i will save it so as you can see here it will get thick and this is the max value you can get for font weight okay so you can see here also this is bolder so let's see as you can see it is a similar one for 900 okay so this is font weight okay you can change the thickness of your font okay now let's see another one which is font style so there are some inbuilt or default styles you can see here okay so italic normal oblique and few more so if i will just click italic and as you can see here the font style changes to italic one all right so i think that's pretty much it for the font one and if you will take a look here you can see these more properties here okay so so in the next video we will see how you can apply a custom font in your website with the help of google fonts okay and we will use this font family tag or font family property okay so that's it for this video guys i will see you in the next one